Hello and welcome everyone, Gamora here, and we are back with a brand new episode of Let's Play Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion. So without further ado, let's play. Let's continue on with Chapter 10. Let's see, we're 14 and a half hours in, level 29. wonder how many chapters this game has. Why is that? I doubt it has as many as... soil here, apparently. As a Final Fantasy VII Genesis remake. Always carried a dumb apple with him. I should have realized sooner. I like it. We're just look so different now. We're just bringing Cloud with us all the time. The Benora ruins. Can I leave Cloud with you? Yes. What is he going to do? Cloud's better off alone. I like this dude's going to do anything. Useful tips, submissions. Let's see more fusion, gill toss, no blazaga, last wave. Some more shops. Let's see here. I guess that's it. Nothing in our inbox. And there's nothing over here. Don't think there's any chests. Cloud. Wait here, all right? I'll be right back. I never knew Cloud um, suffered Mako poisoning. I mean, he he suffers Mako poisoning in, in uh, Final Fantasy VII. I just didn't realize it happened before that. Just imagine what would have happened to him. If we didn't take him out of there. Looks like I can't come back up. Is there a save point? I mean, I guess we already saved it. There's really nothing else to look at. Looks like I can't. So I guess let's just go down. Was this here before? Where does it lead? What is that, Loveless? Benora White Juice. First prize, processed foods. National Agriculture Awards. Oh, wow. I guess not. The idea for this juice came from a Benora youth named Genesis. Wow. Just wow. Young Genesis's comments. I am very honored. Benora White Juice tastes great. But the food itself is tasty, too. My dream is for my parents and I to serve the hero Sephiroth our apples one day. <laughs> Genesis. An interesting piece of information. Kind of pointless. So we made the apple juice. Is there anything I can do? I wonder if that's the reason his family is so rich. Okay. Oh, hold on. What's this? There's got to be something in here. At least one chest. No? I mean, is... What is... Or what is these... What are these crystals? Are they supposed to be, uh... 
something that might generate uh, materia if left alone for a while. Kind of interesting that there's nothing here. Not even one chest. The depths of judgment. I don't know. That sounds like a name you would give to a, you know, like a, a, a final zone for an RPG. Are we actually uh, reaching the end of this game? Light materia. That's a key item, though. One of the goddess materia. Are we actually at the end of the game? It's also a big place. If that's the case, this game is very short. I mean, I know there's a bunch of side missions that we haven't done, but 15 hours? I was, I was expecting the the main game to last at least 20 hours. Well, if this is the end of the game, I hope that there is a, like a chapter select or like a new game plus so we can go back and do some of these missions. I guess we could just reload a save, but that would suck. I think the best thing would be uh, New Game Plus. Oh, no, no, no. Chapter Select. Alright. I guess we're just picking up Goddess Materia. Activating combat mode. I was ex kind of wondering why there was no fight. Okay. Wasn't expecting this. Wasn't expecting this enemy here. Kind of an interesting enemy. How about this? Okay then. Hey, Bruno. Oh, hey, long time no see. Is your grandpa feeling better? Yeah, he is. Although this guy's wallet didn't hunt much at all. Here's something else, kid. This is well, we, we took back Brace our wallet. Yourself. So how could it have helped you? I mean, you had you had more money than us, so. Are these guys even weak to anything? I guess let's just try killing this big dude. Wait. I guess we won't we won't see that. Three. That was a tough fight. I mean, not tough, but like, that was a long fight. Let's hope we don't run into too many of them. What a very interesting place. Who would have thought that this was under Benora the whole time? Alright, got the combat mode. mug materia. Oh great, a lot of these guys. A lot of enemies that have a whole bunch of HP. Oh, yeah. I guess that's fine, we'll just do it that way. No weaknesses on them. What's this? Secret area? Lots of different branching paths. Oh, geez, this is... Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is a big place. Let's, uh, let's check this area first. Before we head in that crazy direction. What are we getting this time? 
just the next potion. Oh, there's also another crack in the wall. I wonder if this also takes us to some large, insanely large area. Well, it looks like it does, but it's pretty much the same area. Although it looks like this whole place is optional. It's not like the game is telling us to go in this direction. Let's see. Third fight with this guy. I need a key. Oh, I thought this was a grave. But this is not a good sign before a fight. Loveless Act 2. Though the prisoner escapes, he is gravely wounded. His life is saved, however, by a woman of the opposing nation. He begins a life of seclusion with her, which seems to hold the promise of eternal bliss. But his happiness grows, so does guilt of not fulfilling the oath to his friends. Let's hope I don't have to start remembering pieces of his of his play. Okay. Oh, hold on. Maybe we have to go in the other direction. Was the other side open? I guess we'll find out. This side's not open either. Well, I guess we have to go back. Ah, this might be for later. Don't think there's anything we missed, right? Not gonna open it on this side. Kind of interesting that they put a save point there. Okay, I guess we'll come back to that. So let's see here. Um, I wonder if we picked up all the material. It's a good vantage point. I don't see anything. Hmm. All right. Oh, I didn't see that before. Is this... Oh, geez. Yep. This definitely seems like the end of the game. Especially when you start seeing these guys. Definitely not an enemy I want to get anywhere nearby. Oh, yeah. I'll do it that way. Why not? Is this Act 1? Oh, it's the prologue. Is there an Act 1? Or does it just go straight to Act 2? Loveless Prologue. When the War of the Beast brings about the world's end, the goddess descends from the sky. Wings of light and dark spread afar. She guides us to bliss, her gift everlast everlasting. Okay, then. We need to get over there somehow. Can we just like fall down or something? Oh, it looks like we have to go underneath. I see. That makes sense. Gotta go Activating this. Combat mode. Oh, come on. I don't really care about that. Let's just run from that. I don't think I've been in here. This is Act 1. Loveless Act 1. The infinite mystery. The gift of the goddess is what is what the is what the three men seek. But their fates are scattered by war. One becomes a hero, one wanders the land, and the last is taken prisoner. But the three are still bound by a solemn oath to seek the answer together once again. 
I guess that's Sephiroth, Sephiroth, Genesis, and NGL. I wonder if we're going to be replaced by one of them. Jeez, another big area. Are you kidding me? With these gigantic areas. Another life materia. I wasn't expecting to get another one. At least not the same one. I thought that light was going to heal us, not summon some monster. Bringing out the big guns. All right, we'll do some of this. See how much damage it does. Oh, that was quite a bit of damage. Not enough, to, not even enough to get him at a half health. We definitely need some better magic. Actually, does that do more damage? Warm -ups over. Yeah, let's just keep doing it. I wonder why we can we got apocalypse twice. Is it because we're reading Loveless? Is that why? Now, what was the point of that fight? Nothing. We don't even get anything for it. Okay. Something tells me that there's going to be more of those. Maybe one of these will give us something. Activating combat mode. Ah! Well, this guy's not weak to lightning. Oh my god, what was that? Okay. I haven't seen a game over in quite a while. I don't think Activating our HP mode. was that low. Kind of crazy how fast he killed us. Maybe we need to do some side missions. Lair. That's a movie you usually see at End game. I'm surprised we're dodging his attack so well. That that was a lot of damage. That would have killed us if we weren't at full health. Dude, that guy has a lot of. Let me give you a hand with the oh, perfect timing, Aerith. Couldn't have, been, big guns. couldn't have been at a better time. We Good definitely need the MP. Hot. Take that. Hot. Hot. And the double health and the Hot. double AP and MP surely do help. Oh, and I'll take that. No MP cost. Yeah, we're barely doing any damage. We should look at our materia. See if we can uh, use anything together. Ah! Have some better uh, fire, lightning, and ice materia. We definitely don't want to die. These fights are getting difficult. Huge step up in difficulty in uh, in this chapter. I mean, and I know we just died, but I guess it's not so much difficult as it is the fights taking way longer. The Sabbath materia. Okay, that's a weird name for materia. Doesn't Sabbath mean like Saturday? Hmm. 
Okay, another fight. There's two fights, three fights. Looks like there's three fights in this room. I don't know what these fights are going to do, but let's do them. Let's hope this dude is weak to something. Oh, he's weak to everything. I'll take that. Although I think uh, fire is probably the way to go. Look at that. We're hitting him for pretty much 10,000 a hit. And he still takes like multiple hits of magic. Okay, so that was a much easier fight. Let's hope the other two are just like that. Or at the very least that they're weak to fire. Okay, so where are the other fights? Look at this one over there. Okay, so there they are. Kind of got turned around for a second. Marco? Oh, an actual cutscene this Marco? time. Maybe this is the last one we're supposed to do. Let's do this one first. Marco? Okay. I don't understand. Are we not supposed to be here yet? Technically, I was expecting two more fights, but... Hmm. Maybe we're doing things out of order. I don't know. Marco? Okay. Let's just leave for now. I guess go where the game wants us to go. Instead of just I mean I see it I see a detour and I just take it. I got a bad habit of that. Easily distracted. The star material. Although I guess going in there wasn't a complete waste of time. We did get Sabbath. Sabbath materia. No, I don't know if those are needed. At least not right now. Loveless Act 3. As, as the war sends the world hurtling towards destruction, the prisoner departs with his newfound love and embarks on a new journey. He is guided by hope that the gift will bring bliss and the oath that he swore to his friends. Though no oath is shared between the lovers, in their hearts they know they will meet again. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. What's this? Activating combat mode. Blue bombs. That's an enemy I don't think I've ever seen before. Are there different colored bombs in other Final Fantasies? I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure about that. The Light of Doom. Yeah, these, these names are sounding more and more like a final area. If I ever had to take a guess. The elevator's not here yet. Okay. Let's interact with this. See what this is. Oh, this is for the material we probably need. Oh, Some let's hope we found console. everything. The pedestal has seven indentations. <laughs> Give forth the goddess materia. The path shall be made clear. If I set goddess materia in these indentations, that door will open. Is that it? Let's hope this isn't just a puzzle. To proceed further, set the seven goddess materials on the pedal stool at the portal of severance. Four are hidden somewhere in the depths of the judgment. In the depths of judgment. Ooh, I don't think we have being materia. I think we might be missing one. Give forth the goddess materia. Six set. We are missing one. 
I don't have... Hmm. And I thought we did a very good job of, uh, checking our surroundings. I guess we missed one. Oh, you know, well, there was that area that we couldn't check out because it was locked behind those jail cells. Chances are we probably missed it in here, huh? Hmm. Where can you be, Materia? Would you be down here? I don't think so. I think I checked that pretty well. Activating combat mode. Well, at least there's not too many fights, or else it would get kind of annoying. If there was fights like every 10 feet. In this place, there's not really much we can check. Unless there's a way for us to go in this direction. Without. Yeah, but I don't think I can get past that, so. At least not at the moment. Am I supposed to read this again? Now that we have. Nope, that was the second act. Activating combat mode. I forgot that there was actually enemies in here. I want to deal with these guys. Okay, level 30. Nice, nice. Taking you down a oh no, you don't. I wish the battle stance had more of a combo to it. Oh, nice. Yourself. Mega Flare. We haven't seen Mega Flare in a while. No. Usually if there is a summon that's going to break the 9,999 damage cap, it is Bahamut. So let's see what he can do. Oh, yeah. oh, he didn't even do enough damage to make it that far. Okay. I guess we're going to have to find that one last material. Somewhere. Probably in one of those other rooms. You know, one of those... Probably in that other large... That large room where the Sabbath materia is. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you're enjoying these episodes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And come check out the live streams on YouTube and Twitch.